Welcome to Gray on Math. We are asked to solve this problem. We have a square, and inside the square is two, are two lines with uh, measures six units and four units, and they are drawn against a line that is perpendicular to them. And this line belongs to the side or the hypotenuse of this right triangle because this triangle is derived from the square so one of its angle is 90 and one leg of this type of this right triangle is actually the side of the square and we are to find the area of the triangle okay so for our solution is we need to uh, make this or label this angle as alpha or let us focus on the angles and this angle should be a complementary angle and we call this as beta and this angle in the green portion is actually the complement which is beta and since this is a right triangle this is a small right triangle then this angle here should be the complementary angle alpha and notice that these two right triangles this one which is the unshaded and this shaded is actually have a hypotenuse of the side of the square let us label the side of the square as s and this as s and notice that by angle side angle theorem you, we can say that these two triangles are congruent since they have two angles the complementary angles and this side in between them are congruent the side of the square and with that these two triangles are congruent because of angle side angle congruence theorem okay so knowing that these two triangles are congruent then this side is actually four because it is the one corresponding this side and this side is actually six units because they are congruent okay so from that we can solve for s or the side of the square and it is the hypotenuse of the triangle the green triangle inside the one with the hypotenuse s or the other triangle the unshaded triangle the legs are 6 and 4. 6 square plus 4 square is equal to S. The square root of that. So S is equal to 36 plus 16. S is equal to the square root of 52. So S is equal to the square root of 4 times 13. So S is equal to 2 square root of 13. Okay, so next thing that we have to do is we need to get the distance from this point to this point or I mean this length. So let us call this as A. So to, we need this because it is easy to find the area because this is the base of D right triangle and we already have the height which is s so we need to use the opposite over the adjacent so if we refer to angle theta i mean alpha opposite over adjacent then we have the opposite is 4 and the adjacent is 6 
so that is where the smaller triangle is and with if we refer to the bigger triangle the green triangle we have 2 square root of 13 or s over a but s is actually equal to 2 square root of 13 and a is the unknown so by cross multiplying we have a is equal to 2 square root of 13 times 6 over 4 so we just cancel this this becomes 2 and we cancel this this becomes 3 and a is equal to 3 square root of 13 units and now for the final step is we are now ready to find the area of this triangle so area is equal to one half times the base times the height area is equal to one half in this case the base is a and the height is s so area is equal to one half times a which is three square root of 13 and s is equal to 2 square root of 13 so this cancels out 2 and 2 and the square root of 13 times the square root of 13 equals 13 times 3 so area is equal to 3 times 13 so area is equal to 39 square units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this thank you bye